Hi guys and welcome to Neptune Design and I hope all of you are having a great day. Today I want to be talking about split tests. I'm going to show you how to do split tests in Google Ads. It's going to be a really fun video. I'm looking forward to doing this with you and also if you guys are interested in the de definition of what a split test is then I suggest you stay tuned because I'm going to be explaining the concept to you and then I'll be guiding you through it step by step okay so if you have never set up a Google Ads campaign before or if you don't know how to set up a Google display ads campaign this video is not for you but don't panic I'm gonna leave a link in the description below just to show you another video and that video will guide you through setting up your first display ads campaign and that's gonna bring us on to this video so I suggest that you watch that video before you come here because this is if you already have a campaign set up okay so if you're still with me on this video that means that you've already got your campaign set up and that you're ready ready to do a split test on Google Ads okay now the first question would be Devin what exactly is a split test you know could you explain the concept of a split test okay so I've got my ad over here and this ad is doing this ad is doing pretty okay and I want to try a slightly different variation of this ad right and I want to see if I can't get a greater return on advertising spend so that's basically what split testing is all about we're gonna take what works and we're gonna just slightly tweak it maybe try a different audience maybe try some new keywords maybe try some new locations we're more or less happy with our overall strategy we just want to see if we can do a couple of tweaks and we want to see if we can make some great gains in our cost per click and maybe in our conversion rate so basically we're just going to take the same ads that we always use and we're just going to slightly tweak them just to see if we can get a little bit better performance out of them and that's basically all that split testing is okay now I've got currently my um, search campaign selected right and as you can see I've got my overview over here and it's telling me a whole bunch of stuff and stats now what I want to do is I want to create this into a split test so what I'm gonna do first and foremost is I am going to go to drafts and experiments that would be not the dark um, the dark panel it would be the light gray panel on your left hand side and I'm gonna click on the word new draft okay now once I'm in new draft I have to obviously name my new experiment so we're gonna call this search campaign and I want to try the search campaign with a South African audience okay so I would also suggest that any changes that you guys make that you guys put in the description if you guys are going to do a lot of changes just so that you know what you changed in this particular ad so I'm just gonna maybe say um, location change just for the sake of keeping it simple for this video okay and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say save okay so I've got my new split over here I've got my new draft if you want to see it search campaign South Africa on your left hand side that's where I currently am okay so let's see I've got my keywords set up I'm very happy with my keywords so far and we have been advertising all over but now I'm gonna edit locations and I'm going to say I just want to target South Africa okay so I'm just targeting South Africa now obviously I know some of you guys might want to do a different type of experiment some of you guys might want to add more keywords there are a lot of ways to do split testing okay so I'm gonna change my location to South Africa and I'm also 
going to take you through these menus okay so you can basically change your landing pages okay you can basically add more ads if you want if you're not happy with how your your ads are performing but I'd suggest that you keep the ad maybe the same and maybe try and do the changes around the ad just to see if it is the ad that's the problem or maybe it could be something else um, audiences as well if you guys don't know what your target audience is you guys can come to the audience section because this is a search campaign we mostly focus on keywords because we want the keywords that clients type to get to us so our main clients would look for conversion tracking e-commerce funnel tracking they'd look to set up their google analytics for uh, recording revenue and recording hits from the advertising that would be our main customer source and that would reflect the types of keywords that we've chosen okay so i'm more or less happy with the keywords that i have i've changed my location and now what i want to do is i want to go back to my drafts and experiments okay so i'm i'm happy with i'm happy with where i am now and i want to say apply okay so when i say apply it's going to ask me two questions it's going to ask me do i want to apply the changes to the original campaign which means do i want to change the original campaign to match the changes that i just did or do I want to run this as like a little side experiment, which is exactly what split testing is. And that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to click on run an experiment and I'm going to click on apply. And it's going to ask me the name. So I'm going to call this South Africa location. And obviously I'm going to say here location change to South Africa. And guys, I'd really advise you to make sure that you document all your changes that you have done just so that you know if it works out what you did right. Okay, and it's going to ask me my start date when I want to start from and I'm going to say I want it to start from today. And this is the interesting but okay, I want it to run for about a week. So we're going to make it for the 1st of June. Okay, so also it's going to ask about an experiment split. How do you want to split up your budget? OK, so basically, if you want to split your budget by maybe only using 10 percent of your budget for the experiment, you can do that. But I go for 50 percent. This doesn't add the 50 percent on top of the amount that you spend for your daily budget. It takes out 50 percent of the portion of your daily budget. So, for example, if your budget is 20 dollars, and you say you want an experiment split of 50%, it will then give your normal campaign $10 and you will get for the experiment, you'll get $10 a day. That's basically how it splits the cash. And then you're gonna say, okay. All right, so now my search campaign is going to run. It will show on my left hand side and you'll see a little like a laboratory flask appear next to it that's how you know it's an experiment okay and i think i've removed this one but i just want to give you okay this one starts at may but i just want to show you what it looks like once it's up and running okay you'll see experiment status active and it will tell you what type of experiment it is and um, it'll also tell you your budget but that's your budget for the whole group the campaign and the experiment and then you get a cool screen that actually shows you the comparison between both campaigns the normal campaign and the test campaign so that you can actually see which one is outperforming which one in which area or whatever the changes are that you made and that's basically how you do split testing now I haven't delved into all the aspects of split testing if you guys would like to see a video series on everything to do with split testing just let me know in the comment section and thank you very much for watching this video um, if you need conversion tracking for your ads or maybe google analytics visit us at neptunedesign.co.za thank you very much for watching guys